Ken, can you talk a little just about this sort of strange coexistence between people who do sort of still look to this Confederate lore, and even some uh, African Americans and people who would oppose those positions in the state? There is one supporter of this uh, of this gentleman, a guy named Robert Ford, who is African American, a Democrat. Can you explain this weird coexistence that takes place in South Carolina? Look, I, I won't dignify Robert Ford by calling him an Uncle Tom because Uncle Tom was a hero. But look, there are people like myself, as President ACLU, set that flag on fire when they debated that flag because to me and the people of African heritage in this state, that flag represents slavery. And those people that would defend that flag, be they black or whatever, are buying into a system that was created on the vicious treatment, inhumane treatment of human beings. And so whatever Robert says, I mean, Robert, if one of the compromises that Robert offered was to put the red, black, and green flag on the state house grounds next to the Confederate flag like we ever fought under that flag. And a lot of it is the good old boy politics when you have someone when, like Robert who says what you want, to, want him to say, you keep him around. Wow. If there wasn't a South Carolina, I think we'd almost have to invent an extraordinary story.